for unpaid rent, <clears throat> late fees, and utilities. Adam and Jennifer claim the defendant was a nightmare who tried to ruin their marriage. Defendant Ryan Thompson claims he had nothing to do with the plaintiff's marital problems, and Ryan says Adam caused all the problems himself when he had oral sex with a co-worker. All right, the plaintiffs are suing their former roommate for unpaid rent, late fees, and unpaid utilities. Uh, Adam, Jennifer, state your case. Your Honor, Ryan isn't what you would call a typical 36-year-old man. In fact, he is a child. He also um, brags about being a player and brags about how he likes chubby girls. Mm -hmm. I guess they call him a chubby chaser. <laughs> Go ahead. Unfortunately, Ryan uh, has been something of a manipulator while he was living with us. He took personal conversations, took place between he and I, and use them in arguments with my wife. Um, she's a very strong woman, and uh, that's not always easy, and sometimes I would speak to him about that, and then he would bring that up as though it were some sort of a reason to discredit her or to drive a wedge between us. Uh, Your Honor, Why would he want to drive a wedge between you and your wife? What, what does he gain from that? Is he interested in your wife? Is he interested no. in you? No, absolutely not. Your Honor, they had a horrible relationship to begin with. I don't know if I could have done anything to make it, you know, worse for them. I, I object. What, what, they, how long had you known each other, Ryan, before you moved in? I have known Jennifer for approximately eight years. I've known Adam eight maybe. Years? Yes. So what is the agreement when you guys decide that you're going to move in together? <clears throat> $400 a month plus payment of utilities. Very simple. Okay, and was that the agreement? Yes, except for the fact that they were very wasteful with the utilities. They would leave heaters on constantly, TVs, radios. Uh, they had many, many animals, like five cats, a tarantula. Heaters you have blasting. a tarantula? No. See, no. that's the first, or actually that was probably four lies right there. So, How many cats do you have? We have four cats. Four cats. Do you have a tarantula? No, an emperor scorpion, uh, about this big. Oh, what are you doing? But how is that? Not well, no, no, no. I, I'm just curious about this. Uh, you feed it crickets. Uh, you watch it hang out. Baby mice. It's fun. You feed it baby mice? We never did, but you can. Next on Judge Piro. Why else would I have a space heater if there was heater in my room? Well, you wouldn't have to shave yourself and be that cold. You need to wear it. You need to wear it. You like that? <laughs> If you'd like to be a part of Judge Pirro's courtroom, call 1-877-JP-WOODS or visit www.judgejp.com for ticket information. Why would he want to drive a wedge between you and your wife? What, what does he gain from that? Is he interested in your wife? Is he interested no. in you? No, absolutely not. Your Honor, they had a horrible relationship to begin with. I don't know if I could have done anything to make it, you know, worse for them. Plaintiffs Adam Gotkin and Jennifer Keller are suing their former roommate, who they say lived like a frat boy and left his body hair in their sink. Okay. All right. What, what about uh, the, the relationship here? I mean, what, where does it go wrong? Well, before they got married, they cheated on each other, and uh, they would talk about that Not true. openly. And Jennifer told me that Adam uh, gave oral sex to one of our male co-workers oh, just nice. before they got Who are you, married. Perez Hilton? What do you care? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, they had a bad relationship. You know what? what? I object. Uh, this has absolutely no relevance to the case. I will strike and it from my mind. neither does the chubby chaser remark, right? Okay. I'm trying to understand what's going on in the apartment that people who've known each other for seven or eight years all of a sudden hate each other's guts. He was a horrible person to live with. Like, How? Pretty much like a frat boy. Um, he'd leave his body hair clippings in the sink. He'd never clean, never wash dishes. We'd have to go look for his a dish. body hair things. in the sink? Uh-huh. Did yeah. you do that? All of it. No, it didn't. Maybe, like, all if of I it. trimmed my beard. Uh-huh. How were... do you know it was all from his body? <laughs> He's got hair exactly. in his arms. Look, there's no way to know where it came from, but there's something... Your Honor, they have hair, too. Did you have just one bathroom or two? There's one bathroom, Your Honor. Okay, there's one bathroom. Okay. Yeah. So, but he's, he was late almost every single time he paid rent. He was. What did you do? Were you working, Ryan? I was. Okay. Maybe three months out of the time you lived there. Okay, and were you late paying the rent? Uh, maybe once the last time. Okay. What causes a breakdown? I still don't know. They uh, would, like, party every night by themselves, regardless if I told them many times I had to wake up for work. What do you care if they're partying? Uh, it was very noisy when I had to sleep and wake what, up what, early. Did they have people over? Or was no, it just... they don't have friends because they can't keep them. They're very odd people. We don't move mooch <laughs> off of our friends, in other words. All right. Okay. So you're not 
the perfect roommate? Well, I wouldn't say I was. What do you think you do wrong? Um, just the obvious normal stuff, like messy sometimes, but they were ten times messier than I. Okay. I would clean up, and they were amazed at the level that I cleaned. For example, because they're such dirty people that I cleaned well, and they were like, oh, my God, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. All right, tell wow. me about me. No? I find it interesting that Ryan would find a way to take a compliment and turn it into something bad about us. We were just trying to show appreciation. He turned it into a legal defense. The one time, yeah, like we, we were like, thank you. Okay, so what about the heat? You don't think you should pay the heating bills? No, well, I, I didn't pay a third the first time, and I told them, you guys are extremely wasteful with your you know, energy, and I'm not going to pay a third again. Uh, and I agreed to that, but the next bill cycle, it's like the conversation never took place. Well, what, what did they do that you think was so overboard that you're not, uh, you don't feel you should pay one third of the year? 24 hours a day, the heater was blasting, and I had my own space heater. If you need a space heater, mm -hmm. and they've got the heat blasting 24 7. It wasn't a heater in every room. My room didn't have a heater. You didn't have, was this an add on room? Was this, it was this a legal room? Did it have heat in it? Too. It's just an old construction Yeah, all, it was central heating. And yeah, but is there heat in his room? Sure. He's saying no. Okay. Why else all would right. I have a space heater if there was heater in my room? Well, you wouldn't have to shave yourself and be that cold. You need a little hair. You can get it in your You like that? <laughs> Stay tuned. There's more Judge Pirro after this. Defendant Ryan Thompson is being sued by his former roommates who accuse Ryan of trying to pit the plaintiffs against each other and put a strain on their marriage. All right, so why do you have the heat on all the time? We uh, just left the heat on at an ambient level to conserve uh, on gas. You wouldn't if say you full have to, blast is ambient level. If you have to keep turning the heat up, especially with an old one like that, yeah. it's just going to have to reheat the same so space. So what temperature do you think the room is, uh, the apartment was heated at? I don't know, maybe 70 at the most. 70 in the winter? At the most, okay. yeah. All right, the issue for the court is uh, the rent. Now, you say you didn't pay the May rent. Did you pay May rent? Yes, I paid every month. Yes, he says no. How can we prove that he didn't pay? And when you spoke down. to them, you said, look, you have to turn down the heat a little bit. Mm -hmm. I can't afford these utilities. I actually said I just wasn't going to pay a third. Like, because I, I wasn't you using But you did agree to pay a third, right? Yes, but then that um, changed. I said I would pay this one time a third, but never again, because you guys are so wasteful and I'm not. Well, you know what's interesting is that a lot of people in this country, especially in the tough economic times that we're in right now, you know, they turn the heat down and, and you know, they've got to make some choices between food and heat and medicine and bills and, you know, just put an extra sweater on 70 is 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 almost extravagant for some people you know they keep it at 67 68 you know just so they can survive it's an approximation there's no thermostat on oh, it's a gas heater all right all right what am i looking at here late charges the landlord is charging you late charges is he on the lease with the landlord no okay can you prove to me when you've given them money? They're alleging oh, that you no. gave them the rent late, and no. therefore they're entitled to late fees well, as well. That was part of it. I wanted to be on the lease, and I asked them to be, and we had a conversation about that. They would say there'd be a trial period of about one to two months, and then we'd decide. Two months came, and I said, can I be on the lease? And they acted like the conversation never happened. Just changing the subject we left and right. didn't want him on the lease. When's the last time he paid your rent? In April. Okay. And he paid that uh, somewhere near the 15th. What do you have to show? that he gave you money late. How about a receipt? No, ma'am, everything was done informally. The only thing we have there is the fact that because we didn't have that money <laughs> on those dates, uh, we were charged late fees on that. Uh, there are the electric bills, the uh, the gas bills. Yeah. These are bills. Yeah. All right. And, and you're saying that he just owes you a third of the gas and electric. Yeah, we're not asking for everything, not asking for the time he wasn't there. Well, just thank you. one third. <laughs> you're it. only entitled to when he was there. Right. The only issue for the court is May. When did you leave? June is when I left, oh, nine. You left in June. Mm -hmm. So you, there, there is no, no proof on your part that you paid the May rent. No, but I did pay it. My word. That's all okay. I have. Okay. Judge Pirro renders her verdict right after this. Plaintiffs Adam Gutkin and Jennifer Keller are suing their former roommate, who they say lived like a frat boy and left his body hair in their sink. The issue for the court is whether or not the defendant is liable to the plaintiffs for uh, basically breach of contract for rent, uh, for late fees, for unpaid utilities. And in support of their claim, they show me a uh, uh, electric bill, an energy bill, as well as a rent statement when they paid rent. 
Now, there's no question that there were late fees that were incurred by the plaintiffs uh, in paying the landlord. They're alleging that because the defendant didn't make his rental payment on time, the rent went in late, and therefore they want late fees. Here's the problem. Although the lease requires and, and uh, allows for the landlord to get late fees from you if you're late, there was nothing in your agreement with him that says that you're entitled to late fees in the event that he is late. He's not on the lease, and that's why I asked the question, so therefore he is not bound to any particular late fee unless you guys have an agreement. And I asked you right at the top, what was the agreement? 400 a month, you said, and a third of the utilities. Yes, now, uh, now, with respect to the utilities, we've got $461 for utilities. I'm somewhat concerned about the fact that even though he agreed to pay a third, and you do consider 461 to be a third, he still didn't have heat in his room, and he ended up buying his own heater. So at best, I will give you some money for that. I will give you 300 for that. So, uh, and then the final issue is the unpaid rent for May. You haven't given me any indication that he actually didn't pay the rent. You don't have a note, you don't have an email, uh, and you know, you on the other hand don't have anything showing that you did pay the rent, but the burden of proof is on the plaintiff. So for the plaintiffs, you get a total of $300 for utilities, and the late fees are not included in your agreement with him. So ordered. Good luck.